This is Twit. So last Wednesday, our friends at Cloudflare posted the formal announcement of the availability of some of the work they've been focused upon this past year. This has been some time in coming. They've been working on it, and it's now available. Uh, their posting was, quote, announcing Turnstile, a user-friendly, privacy-preserving alternative to, to CAPTCHA. So our longtime listeners know that through the years, uh, we first introduced the abbreviation CAPTCHA, standing for Completely Automated Public Touring Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. I think it was Carnegie Ooh. Mellon, right, that did the first CAPTCHA. Uh, yeah. Right? And, it, and uh, it was kind of clever. And now Google does it, and it's so unclever. I'm so tired of telling Google, that's a bike. That's not I know. a bike. I know. And clearly, we're training it's, their Waymo division on how to drive. It, it, and I, it's, it, I'm often sure... That it's correct, and Google says, uh, "No, oh, here's terrible. some, here's some boats, yeah. or you know, whatever." Horrible. It's like, uh, it, yeah. So, and as you said before, by the way, ineffective. Yes, if you're really a bad guy, you know how to defeat these captures easily. Well, also, I'm sitting here as a normal user doing web-based research. Uh, with with an IP that hasn't changed in several years. Yeah, they know who you and are. Google is supposed to know. Yes, exactly. Yet, and 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 so the idea is that it, it's supposed to not bother you, right? Unless it's not sure about whether or not. And it's like, what are you doing? So Am right. I your free image analyzer? Yes, that's exactly. It's so obvious. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. So thank you. Uh, so we've followed the evolution and use of CAPTCHAs. Uh, so, in keeping with our CAPTCHA covering history, here's what Cloudflare has done, and it looks like to be 100% good news. They said, today we're announcing the open beta of Turnstile, an invisible alternative to CAPTCHA. Anyone anywhere on the internet who wants to replace CAPTCHA on their site will be able to call a simple API without having to be a Cloudflare customer or sending traffic through the Cloudflare global network. Sign up here for free. And the URL, it's easy, www.cloudflare.com slash IP slash turnstile, T-U-R-N-S-T-I-L-E. That's it. You fill out a form and in order to create a, a, an identity with them, and you, you make three modifications, which I'll explain in a second. They said, there's no point in rehashing the fact that CAPTCHA provides a terrible user experience. Yes. <laughs> it's been discussed in detail before on this blog and countless times elsewhere. The creator of the CAPTCHA has even publicly lamented that he, quote, unwittingly created a system that was frittering away in 10-second increments Millions of hours of a most precious resource, yes. human brain cycles, yes. unquote. He said, we hate it, you hate it, everyone hates it. Today we're giving everyone a better option. And of course, this comes from our friends at Cloudflare. Yeah. They said, Turnstile is our smart capture alternative. It automatically chooses from a rotating suite of non-intrusive browser challenges based on telemetry and client behavior exhibited during a session. He, they said, we talked in an earlier post about how we've used our managed challenge system to reduce our use of CAPTCHA by 91%. Now anyone can take advantage of this same technology to stop using CAPTCHA on their own site. They then go on to explain that it's not only CAPTCHA's miserable user experience that is the problem. They said, while having to solve a CAPTCHA is a frustrating user experience, there's also a potential hidden trade-off a, web, a website must make when using CAPTCHA. If you are a small site using CAPTCHA today, you essentially have one option, an 800-pound gorilla with 98% of the CAPTCHA market share. This tool is free to use, 
but in fact it has a privacy cost you have to give your data to an ad sales company according to security researchers one of the signals that Google uses to decide if you are malicious is whether you have a Google cookie in your browser if you have this cookie Google will give you a higher score Google says they don't use this information for ad targeting but at the end of the day Google is an ad sales company meanwhile at Cloudflare we make money when customers choose us to protect their websites and make their services run better it's a simple direct relationship that perfectly aligns our incentives in June we announced an effort with Apple to use private access tokens visitors using operating systems that support these tokens including the upcoming versions of Mac OS or iOS can now prove they're human without completing a captcha or giving up personal data by collaborating with third parties like device manufacturers who already have the data that would help us validate a device we're able to abstract portions of the validation process and confirm data without actually collecting touching or storing that data ourselves rather than interrogating a device directly we ask the device vendor to do it for us private access tokens are built directly into turnstile while turnstile has to look at some session data like headers user agent and browser characteristics to validate users without challenging them private access tokens allows us to minimize data collection by asking Apple to validate the device for us in addition turnstile never looks for cookies like a login cookie or uses cookies to collect or store information of any kind Cloudflare has a long track record of investing in user privacy which we will continue with turnstile they then explain a bit more about what's under the hood saying to improve to improve the internet for everyone we decided to open up the technology that powers our managed challenge to everyone in beta as a standalone product called turnstile rather than try to unilaterally deprecate and replace captcha with a single alternative we built a platform to test many alternatives and rotate new challenges in and out as they become more or less effective in other words oh, what they're really also saying yes is that when when the bot farms figure it out wor start working it out right. they're just going to change the the, the, the <laughs> rules and no users will have to okay. ha have any effect what are the odds are going to end up having to identify bicycles <laughs> <laughs> after a while oh lord well, let's hope not <laughs> i hope not at, le at least we'll know that if that has to happen it's it had to happen right. it's not something that you know convenient that for Google, business i mean yeah yes again i i have I have no explanation for the fact that I'm having to click on 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 uh, uh, you know parking meters in order to. It tell used Google to every once in a while would say, "Oh yeah, yeah." You just say, "I'm not a robot," and they say, "Of course you're not. We know that." But that's yes, gone it, away now, right? It, apparently, I haven't seen that for a mm -mm, while. Mm -mm. So they say, first we run a series of small, non-interactive JavaScript challenges gathering more signals about the visitor browser environment those challenges include proof of work proof of space probing for web api's and various other challenges for detecting browser quirks and human behavior as a result we can fine-tune the difficulty of the challenge to the specific request turnstile also includes machine learning models that detect common features of end visitors who were able to pass a challenge before the computational hardness of those initial challenges may vary by visitor but is targeted to run fast you can take advantage of turnstile and stop bothering your visitors with a captcha even without being on the cloudflare network while we make it as easy as possible to use our network we don't want this to be a barrier to improving privacy and user experience to switch from a captcha service all you need to do is and they have three things one create a cloudflare account 
navigate to the turnstile tab on the navigation bar and get a site key and secret key. Two, copy our JavaScript from the dashboard and paste over your old CAPTCHA JavaScript. Three, update the server side integration by replacing the old site verify URL with ours. They said there's more detail on the process below, including options you can configure, but that's really it. We're excited about the simplicity of making a change. Yeah, make it easy. But remember, the people who are using that crappy Google Capture are doing it for one reason. They're lazy as hell. And I bet you, you watch. It, no no big gonna, effect. Yeah, because yeah. that's why they're using this crappy one. They don't care. Well, th those of us who care will yeah. will. Do you have captures on your site? No. You see? I just... Yeah. <laughs> I point exactly. <laughs> Neither do I. No. Nope. No. Nope. So anyway, uh, oh, I did create I also a shortcut wonder, for this for, okay. our, for our listeners. Anyone who wants to go to that sign-up page, it's the shortcut of the week. So it's grc.sc slash 891. I also That'll wonder get you directly to that if ad blockers, certainly no script would kill it. I wonder, you know, if it's seen as intrusive by some ad blockers... Because they are, you know, running some stuff in the background to see who you are, right? Right. Although I would imagine Google is doing that too, right? Oh, I mean, Google's worse. I think there they, is a lot of Cloudflare yeah, even so, points out that if you don't, if you're not logged into Google, if you don't have a Google cookie on your page, they assume you're, you're up to no good. <laughs> yeah, you can't be. You can't you be can't a nice be a person. Human. Yeah, you're not. You're not logged into Google. Yeah, that's right. 